tomorrow. But first, Jackie Lambie. She's one of Tasmania's 12, yes, 12 senators. Quite what they all do, I can't really say, but clearly staying well informed on matters that might be of interest to the people who pay her salary isn't all that high on her list. Here she is in Parliament this week, proudly displaying her own ignorance. One Nation put up a motion criticising the World Economic Forum for putting out some obscure proposal I'd never heard of. Some weird thing nobody outside the darkest corner of Sky News After Dark programming has ever heard about. Well, Jackie, allow me to enlighten you. I'm sorry that the taxpayers of Tasmania pay you over $200,000 a year to stay spectacularly uninformed, but there you have it. First up, although I am delighted to appear on Sky News After Dark and even to appear on the darkest corners of Sky News After Dark, I have been talking about the Great Reset for the last couple of months here on Outsiders, which is in fact a daytime show. Indeed, it is the number one rating show on all of Sky News daytime every single week. So please, when you're trying to insult people, it does help if you are at least teensy bit accurate. Secondly, as I would hope you're aware, Australia is, is a high paying member of the United Nations. We are a member of the International Monetary Fund and the Australian taxpayer spends a fortune sending top politicians and public servants year in, year out in luxury style to attend the World Economic Forum in Davos to help map out global economic structures. It was Matthias Corbin at the beginning of this year. On top of which, Prince Charles is our future monarch. So when these four extremely powerful and influential bodies line up to tell us what they are planning for our economic future, it's worth maybe just paying a little attention. The World Economic Forum meets every January in Davos. You will have heard of the expression Davos man, Jackie. It refers to all the zillionaires and pop stars and popes and princes and politicians who meet every year to map out our futures. I'm sure you've heard of Bono, Jackie. Well, next year's World Economic Forum at Davos has been pushed back to May in Lucerne, presumably because of COVID. But, and here's where you really need to pay attention, Jackie. This year's Davos is very, very different to all the previous ones. The World Economic Forum, along with the United Nations, along with the International Monetary Fund, and along with any number of prominent globalist organizations and powerful individuals, including Prince Charles, together have jointly promised that the 2021 World Economic Forum will be used to introduce via a vast network of connected big tech corporations, online activist movements, and compliant local and national governments, something they call the Great Reset. This isn't some uh, sky after dark fantasy conspiracy theory, Jackie. It is a global commitment they have made to use the panic and fear generated mm. by the coronavirus as a means to reshape all our economies and laws and move to a new form of capitalism that focuses on net zero emissions. To use all the tools of COVID to tackle climate change. You might think this is a great thing. You might think this is a terrible thing. But what is unforgivable, Ms. Lambie, is for you not to think about it at all. If implemented successfully, the Great Reset will undeniably and deliberately have extreme and possibly dire repercussions for every single one of your constituents. Ignorance, Senator, is no excuse. Already, the Great Reset is being widely advertised on posters and in ads across the UK and Europe, and no doubt will be here before too long. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy is just one of their marketing slogans. I'm sure there are plenty of Tasmanians, Jackie, who might beg to differ with that proposition. So let me fill in the blanks for you, Jackie. The plan involves replacing shareholders of big companies with stakeholders who happen to be left-wing bureaucrats and climate change zealots. Replacing mum and dad small businesses and private enterprises with big tech and big business. Mrs. Kafup's share portfolio is out. Greta Thunberg's zero emissions are in. Democracy and free enterprise go out the window. Totalitarian government control slides in through the back door. But remember, it's not only a great reset, it's a great deception. Because in order to get everyday people like you and me, Jackie, to surrender many of the rights and freedoms we currently take for granted, the repeatedly stated aim of these organizations is to deliberately use COVID as an excuse, to use all the political and authoritarian tools, as Prince Charles puts it, that are currently being used around the world to eradicate the virus, 
such as lockdowns, exclusion zones, forced closure of businesses, heavy fines, making protesting illegal, and so on, but now to eradicate carbon emissions. Those behind this scheme are adamant that there can be and never will be a return to normal, that life will never again be what it was prior to COVID. That is why they constantly talk about the new normal. But remember, Jackie, this is, this is not me saying this lurking in the darkest corners of Sky News after dark. <laughs> this is them saying it, the people with the power and the means and the obsessional desire to do it. And they keep telling us again and again precisely what they have in store. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had before and may never have again. So we must use all the levers we have at our disposal, knowing that each and every one of us has a vital role to play. The Great Reset is a welcome recognition that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call. It is imperative that we reimagine, rebuild, redesign, reinvigorate and rebalance our world. Rebalancing investment, harnessing science and technology, and advancing the transition to net zero emissions, all elements of the Great Reset are fundamental to building the future we need. And if it's still not clear, Jackie, maybe Santa could pop this little gem into your Christmas stocking. The book written by World Economic Forum boss Klaus Schwab himself, setting out precisely how the most powerful forces in the world are lining up to use the COVID-19 crisis as a pretext for introducing a new climate change focused one world economy that will strip away property rights and basic democratic rights. They are not hiding this stuff, Jackie. They are shouting it from the rooftops. Even more reason why your ignorance is inexcusable. Indeed, here's Prince Charles only a couple of days ago wearing a poppy and disgracefully using the symbolism of Remembrance Day to push this same eco-fascist, globalist, totalitarian agenda. With the urgency required, I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you will join me to drive a new Marshall-like plan for nature, people and planet, led by the private sector to align our collective efforts and resources for the highest possible impact. We need a shift in our economic model that places nature and the world's transition to net zero at the heart of how we operate, prioritizing the pursuit of sustainable, inclusive growth in the decades to come. There is hope that we can transform the situation, but I'm afraid we are literally at the last hour and there is real urgency for action. Literally at the last hour, a bit of hyperbole. On a side issue, Prince Charles is now acting in a flagrantly political manner, aligning himself with the global political and business agenda, reeking of oligarchies and fascism. This makes Prince Charles clearly unfit for the role of monarch of Britain or Australia, and the Queen must remove him now from the line of succession. This has gone far beyond a joke, and Prince Charles is now no better than the repellent Extinction Rebellion activists who likewise desecrated Remembrance Day by using it for their own shoddy global warming activism. But back to the Great Reset, the World Economic Forum boasts on its website that the only acceptable response to the COVID crisis is to pursue a great reset of our economies, our politics, and our societies. Nothing ambiguous about that, Jackie. And so I say, well done to One Nation Senators Pauline Hanson and Malcolm Roberts for being concerned enough to raise this issue in our federal parliament where it should be raised and where it should be debated. Last week, Senator Hanson put forward a motion for the Australian Parliament to reject the Great Reset. Pretty simple, nothing to lose there. Just simply say, thanks Klaus, but nine Dunker, it's not for us, and we won't be sending anyone to this year's World Economic Forum. Dunker Schoen, win-win. Josh, you'll save a fortune in airfares and luxury accommodation all at the same time. Yet, despite the abhorrence of the Great Reset agenda, every single member of Parliament, federal Parliament, from the Liberals to the Nationals to the Greens, voted against Pauline's proposal. Shame on every single parliamentarian, from the Prime Minister to Jackie Lambie, for either being too lazy or too ignorant to understand this proposed assault on our democratic way of life, or worse, for giving it the nod. Shame on you all. You are, an unwor you are unworthy of the trust 
put in you by the freedom-loving people.